Okay, everybody, I'm back inside this engine again. Remember, on my last video, I replaced number one here at the back. This time, I'm replacing number three and number five. <laughs> uh, so they'll all be new. This is number five hanging out here now. It's not too bad a job. Just take your time, and I've got a block of wood there. Just holding the plenum up in place so I don't have to disconnect too many things. I've disconnected the bare minimum of things. So what did I disconnect? Well, I just undone these two 10mm nuts to take this wiring harness to one side. And I just removed the little vacuum unit off there, a couple of 10 mils. And I did have to remove the little 12mm bolt just there that you can see. Uh, the thread for it below the um, the casting there that hangs uh, that just holds on to a little bracket there with those um, plugs connected that was just it wasn't letting me get enough height so I just removed that plus you've also got to take the uh, 12 mil off at the back there on that uh, strap there at the back okay that's all good Everything looks good down inside here. I'll just give it a very careful wipe, but I'm not going to be replacing anything more than I need to. So, a little tricky thing with these clips. You've got to push that little, that little grey tab. So, no, you've got to lift it very, very carefully. That's right, just lift it very carefully, a couple of mil, and that then releases the clip. Don't try to pull the clip without releasing that. It'll snap. You don't want to do that. It's probably a little bit brittle too because it's quite hot in there. I think that's the reason why these back ones have gone. Now it's just done 200,000 kilometres, which is not a high kilometres for these vehicles. Anyway, spare parts. So here are my, oh that's the number uh, 3 one pulled out. Uh, these are my two replacements that I've bought and uh, new iridium spark plugs that I'll be fitting in as well. Uh, one of them is in, one of them is this one here. A little bit of trouble getting it out. Uh, spark plugs are quite deep, so you'll be a bit careful there. I'm using my extensions, knuckles, etc. to do that. A little magnet to lift it out. But yeah, I certainly would recommend this can be done by any reasonably competent do-it-yourselfer. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, I'm not going to have any more problems for a while. But I'm learning a little bit more this time around as well. I'm faster than I was last time. I'm only half an hour into the job. I'll have it all boxed up in another hour quite easily. Tighten everything down. Be using this bad boy again today. Okay. Thank you for... Uh, viewing this I'm hoping that it's going to help you guys if you have to do one of these jobs it's probably the same as the earlier 2.7 on the uh, earlier generation Santa Fe uh, this one is a 2007 model CM uh, model Santa Fe yeah my bolts removed pretty much a selection of 12s and 10s so you really only need some 12s and some 10s sockets and open enders and ring spanners and uh, you should be able to go about doing this job it would be so much easier if, if it was these three front ones but no, it has to be the back one. I'm pretty sure it must be due to heat soak. You know, even though I don't do hard mileage on this vehicle, it must get quite hot in the back there. Not a bad engine to work on, considering. I'm gonna do the cam belt on this engine too later on and maybe over the Christmas break. We're in June at the moment. I will replace the serpentine belt though, it's looking pretty old. 
I have got that on my list of things to do. That's quite easy to do. It's just got a spring tensioner. Release the spring tensioner a bit with your um, with your socket, and uh, you just pull against it a bit, and then slide the old serpentine off and slide the new one on. Five minute job. Okay, quite a nice day today in Auckland, New Zealand. Bit of blue sky. We've had some rain lately. In fact, the weather's getting a bit colder now. No updates on the bikes. Been riding my scooter. I'll get into the bike again soon. You know, sometimes you sort of uh, want a bit of a break. So it's one of these times at the moment. And I'm doing the Santa Fe really because I have to. <laughs> without this being fixed I can't use it and I can't use it it's just a pain just sitting there without me being able to drive it so you know what they say you're forced into these things you just got to get on with it so I got up this morning wasn't really going to do it today and then I lifted the bonnet and undone a couple of bolts and here I am at this stage okay see you in the next one